Hello people, today I'm going to be sharing with you a cornbread recipe, baked corn, the same kind of thing. Um, I got a couple helpers coming with me, so we're going to move over there, but this is one of the my favorite recipes. Alex loves it. I don't know if it's Amish. I got it from my cousin who lives by the Amish, who gives me a bunch of Amish recipes. I'm not sure if it's Amish. It might be. Either way, it's delicious. You won't regret making it. So I'm going to let you know what I need, what yeah. you're going to need. All right, people. So this is a screenshot. If you want it, I made this dairy-free um, previously. Now we're all into the milk and dairy these days. Um, but you can make it dairy-free. I just substitute the sour cream um, for dairy-free cream cheese and then the butter for obviously um, dairy-free butter. But basically, this is what you're going to need. One can of drained whole kernel corn and there's some debate on whether or not to keep the water i drain it i think some people leave it in and then one can of creamed corn two eggs half a stick of butter this is super healthy if i haven't mentioned that um eight ounces of sour cream or a cream cheese if you want and then one box one little box of corn muffin mix all right eleanor's helping me here we're just going to shove everything into a bowl that's basically what you do so she's gonna dump the whole box of Jiffy Mix. And there you go. All right, and then I semi softened this slash melted it in the microwave for 20 seconds. I did 10, rolled it over, and then another 10. She's gonna dump it in. I think maybe that needs to be melted, I'm not sure. Okay, and then the can of corn, the whole kernel corn. Got it? And what? Tea? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and a can of the creamed corn. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I'm getting brave here. No shells. There's a shell. <laughs> How do you know these are eggs? Because they're eggs. Whoa, no shells, way to go on the war. Okay, and then eight ounces of the cream cheese. Actually, the sour cream. Ooh. Mm, I love this one. I love this. <laughs> and then we're gonna mix it all up. <laughs> you hope it's good. So do I. I hope it's good too. Okay, so I think this is supposed to be for an 8x13 dish, but and mine is currently hosting leftover baked CD in the fridge, and I'm not gonna wash that. Um, you know, who has time for that? So I have this is like I don't know, 9x7 or something, and then if I have a pie left over, I'm just gonna toss it in that guy. Maybe I should get a pie pan. We'll we'll see how much I have. It's a lot. This is gonna be a treat. We've got some for the family over here, and then my portion. All right, and then you shove it into a 350 degree oven. I think you let it cook for like 30 minutes, maybe 45 if it's super thick. I'll let you know. All right, people, 45 minutes, and this is what they look like. I feel like I could have taken them out at like 40 minutes. Got a little toasted brown on the outside, but that is perfect. So, so good. 30 minutes was just too shy of uh, being done. Um, All right, people, I have, an, I have had an outfit change since these have been cooking, um, but they came out super awesome. Can't wait to try them for dinner tonight. And are you guys distracted by these uh, almond pastries behind me? I can't wait for dessert time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> so, what I would do, and 
pastry. Pastries or something? 